Hi you guys, it's Lisa. Thanks for stopping back at my channel. Today it's going to be a super quick one. I'm going to show you a crafty haul. I went shopping with my girlfriend Debbie Ducats and we had a great time. Went to Wisconsin Rapids and hit a few um, stores up there and I wanted to show you what I got. Um, so we'll just start with that and then I'm going to do a crafty quick tip for you at the end. Something that um, you might not think about or hasn't occurred to you. Um, uh, a good tip for when you're looking for craft items when you go rummage sailing, which you know I go rummage sailing every week religiously. Um, I absolutely love the hunt. And I cannot wait for the weekend so that I can go. So here's my haul that I got on Friday with Debbie. Um, I did not know this, but the company Darice, D-A-R-I-C-E, has gone out of business. I did not know that. Um, I guess unfortunately they could not survive COVID you know the the pandemic so this is what I was told by the store owner and I was very very surprised I thought that this company was probably very very secure they have lots and lots of products so um, unfortunately um, or yeah, unfortunate for them that they went out of business, but I did get a great buy at one of the stores. These are A2 envelopes. I go through a ton of them, a lot of cards, and I got 50 of them for $5. That is a good price. So I bought all that they had. I got the white, the cream, and the craft. Um, I bought those. Um, I have been super excited about the uh, Distress Paints by Tim Holtz. I had a few. I will show you what I had in my stash. I mean, this is how I store them. I got this little box last weekend at a rummage sale. And they do sit upright in the box. Um, the ones with the sponge daubers on top are a little too high, but I have some uh, flip top caps coming for the uh, for these ones so I can get them all to stand in there. And I'll show you how I store them. Let's move some of this out of the way here. Um, the colors that I found at Let's Create Sorry about all that rattling. I got um, Evergreen Bow, Peeled Paint, uh, Pumice Stone, and Chip Sapphire. Love all of these colors. Now, if you go on um, Ranger Inc. on their website, you can get these little dots with the colors on them. And this is what I took when I went shopping. I already had the... Um, circles punched out of the colors that I had so I knew what I was shopping for so I go right ahead and I can punch out this peeled paint here with my um, round circle punch I use um, double-sided tape I put that on here and then that is going to go on the top of my um, paint here. Now I just realized as I was talking here that I got sponge dauber ones. I, I really didn't want sponge dauber ones. I wanted the flip top ones like these. Well, I'm not going to drive back up there and take them back, of course. I'm happy to have them and I'm happy to give uh, the store the business. But I'm going to wait to um, open these because I do have the flip top caps coming um, in the mail. I did have to order those and I'll try and link those below for you. And I'll also link um, these uh, paints. I've been watching 
Tim Holtz live on the weekends. Well, it usually takes me about three days to watch one of them because they're very, very long. And um, not just yesterday, which is Saturday, but the Saturday before it was about his distress paints. And he really got me thinking of some great ideas. So, of course, I'm going to have to um, get my hands on more of these. And I will do that little by little. But that is how I store them. And like I said, I'll link those below and also those caps so you can have the flip top caps. And above here, I will put that video by Tim Holtz so you can check out all of the goodies that he has there. Um, you can never have too many of the foam squares and I thought three dollars was a good price for these. Um, I got the small ones in white, I got the small ones in black, I got the big ones in white, and I got the big ones in black. So I'll take these out of their bags and I will just put them in a larger bag so that they are all together and those will be ready to go for some card projects. I have my to-go bag all loaded full of items but I was a little short on these on my crafting desk here. This is something um, I've been wanting for quite a while. Um, it is the corners for my Misty. They're called Creative Corners. Um, I, again, will link those below. But I'm going to take them out and go ahead and show you what happens with those. And the price on that was 17 I didn't think that was too terribly bad. Um, where's my Misty? Here it is. I got a desk full of things today. So you have your Misty here and you go ahead and put down your corners. These are magnetic, which are super helpful. And then when you're using a large stamp, such as this one, I haven't even used this yet. I've had this in my stash for, I can honestly say, a couple years. This is by um, Simon Says Stamp, which is a great company online. It uh, looks like I did use it, but I just used it to um, put it in my catalog. So that is the only thing I did with this. I'm going to turn my Misty this way. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. It's going to adhere to the top of my paper or, or my my misty here and now I know where to put my paper in here so that we're going to get a great impression every single time. This is an envelope, but it's not going to matter. I would ink up my stamp. I would put that down, get a great impression on there. And of course, I'm going to use my um, my really great idea of using a dry erase, a dry erase board eraser on this I don't, and you go ahead and use that so you can get a great impression with your ink this is what I've got a uh, magnetic whiteboard eraser it doesn't have to be magnetic but then you would go ahead and rub over this and it's going to give you a great great impression and you're always going to know where to put your paper because you have these great corners in there so i'm super excited that i got that and this is magnetic so it sticks right to your misty super super great invention that they had there and i was happy to get that added to my stash 
And these are going to be uh, great things for aligning projects and doing measurements in the future. Another thing that's really popular and that Debbie and I were really excited to search out in the stores were the slimline cards. Lots and lots of people are making slimline cards and you will see lots of videos on YouTube and in all of the groups, social media, um, all kinds of things like that. Well, I was excited about this really neat rose pattern when I saw it come out on Fran's um, YouTube channel and she is the um, person from Stampendous. Uh, so I wanted to add that to my stash and I also wanted to add some stitched rectangles to go ahead and make those slimline cards. So I purchased a set of those. I know for a fact that I will use these again and again and again. Um, even the smallest one here, take this apart, the smallest one in here, I'll just rip it off, is going to be really nice. I don't want to bend that. Just gently take that off. But won't this be nice just for sentiments? Having a stitched outline there for some sentiments. So I'm going to definitely use these. You will see in some card projects and um, I will be sure to um, link those below so you can see those and the prices. This one here was $12.90 or $12, $12, and these by Gina Marie Designs, $17.75, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different dies. Use those on your slimline cards and also just your regular cards. I'm sure we're going to have some fun with that. Look at this beautiful paper. Now, I am not one to have a lot of patterned paper, but this one just spoke to me. Um, the name brand is Chow Bella, and this is just absolutely beautiful paper. I bought two pieces of this one because I'm actually going to use this at, as the base, and I'm going to fussy cut this out and, and uh, make a slimline card out of that. Uh, for dimensional. I'll also be able to use these two um, for cards and that beautiful dragonfly is amazing. Other side is going to be very very hard to um, let go but as you can see just as gorgeous as the first side. So I got two pieces of that. I got this one um, piece of paper. It's by Bloom, Bloom or Bloomville, and it's all of these beautiful, beautiful butterflies on it. Now, what I was thinking when I saw this was these um, butterfly specimens that I've been making, and I'll go ahead and link that video up here so you can see what I'm talking about. And these butterflies are going to fit perfectly in here. So I'll be making lots and lots of those this week. I absolutely love doing it. It's super great fun. And I love to put into my treasure tin boxes. So that is going to be a great fun also. Another piece of paper. This one is by Graphic45. It's called the Bird Watcher Collection. And this one is going to be absolutely wonderful. Um, I had an idea for it. I'm not 100% sure what that is right now, but I'm sure it will uh, come to me. It is just going to be a beautiful background for a card. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, and like I said, I don't buy a lot of pattern paper, so this was kind of a fun treat for me to do. Now this piece, I was thinking fragments. Can you see what I'm thinking about here? These are the size of the fragments and I will again link what I'm talking about 
um, up here in the description. But these are going to be perfect for these um, small fragments that I love to make out of these plastic pieces from Tim Holtz. There are some really, really great images on here. And these are going to be absolutely beautiful. So that's why I bought those pieces of paper and my fragments. I've got those. Okay. Um, last but not least, I guess, is I got two pieces of this silver mirrored cardstock. Um, it was nice of them to leave it in the um, plastic here so it doesn't get scratched. But this is going to go on a few of cards that I like to um, make masculine cards. They have a bit of um, diamond diamond cut pattern on them and they have some cars and they're perfect for the manly cards I like to make. These were $2.39 a piece. So all in all, I didn't think I spent a whole ton of money, but I did want to get back to the store, do a little shopping in the store and support my friends in, um, Wisconsin Rapids at Let's Create. Now I'm going to do a crafty quick tip. Um, this is something I like to do when I'm pulling out things out of my stash and I'm like, yeah, I bet you somebody might want to um, hear what I'm going to do with these. Now when I'm rummage sailing, I'm constantly looking for um, little books that I can make into art journal books. I think art journal books are absolutely amazing and I think that um, these little books are super super cute to go ahead and uh, repurpose and make into a tiny little book that someone would really really have a great time um, working in. Now this one is just an absolute adorable size. It was actually in the free box. Um, it says why a daughter needs a mom. Um, it has nothing to do with the type of book. It was all about the size and I thought I will probably um, put a piece of ribbon in here and I will show you uh, down the road um, me going ahead and making this into a small little art journal book that somebody may enjoy in the future and they'll put their own art in it. Maybe I will. I'm not sure about that, but I definitely want to make this into an art journal book. This was also in the free box. It is all black cardstock. And I thought right away, I thought, oh, what a cool art journal book this will be because it has that black paper in it. So keep your eyes open for that. We can always make a different cover and um, go ahead and create in here on that black paper. Love it. So look for those. This uh, book um, was in my free little library. It has this real great ribbon for um, going ahead and marking your place where you would be creating in it. And I liked it because of the shape, because of the square shape. And this has all sorts of little, um, little inspirational sayings and things like that. And it's just a book that I wanted to go ahead and maybe copy some of these down. And I, I probably will just so these pages and go ahead and make this into an art journal book also. I really loved the size. So keep that in mind. Um, something else. Look at this one. This was at a rummage sale, 10 cents. And it is all handmade paper. So not much to do here, uh, maybe a little bit of decorating, maybe just some sayings that I could stamp in there, uh, put maybe a feather or something in here as a bookmark and decorate the cover a little bit. What a great gift to give someone. It's even got this full wood edging 
And like I said, one dime, one dime at a rubber sale. That is basically free. What can you get with a dime anymore? Uh, size here again. I love these square ones. And this one, again, was um, in my little free library. I will definitely cover up some of these pages, maybe even combined two of the pages because they're a little flimsy so that we have a little um, better substrate in the book. But this is going to be a great, great book for a um, art journal book. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, these two, I'm going to set these aside. It'll be nice to get these off my desk because I've been trying to do this video for quite a while for you. I, and I have things stacked up so I can go ahead and work on those and get them off my desk. Now, I got a couple of things here left and I will let you go. But I found this one first. This is a cookbook, obviously. And I thought, ooh, this will be great for an art journal book because I really like the binding. I love the cover. Real heavy duty. Be real easy to cover and make it make it my own. But then when I was flipping through this book, look at the images. Like if you were a quilter or you could send this cut this out, put it on a card for a quilter. These have the cutest images in this book. I cannot even tell you how, how adorable they are. So, um, unfortunately, I'm probably, um, or fortunate for me, I'm probably going to cut a lot of these images out and use them on cards. They have a really great paper, and they'd be super fun to color. So, um, somebody might get angry about that, that I'm going to cut these out and use them on cards, but at least the book is going to be used again. It's going to be repurposed. This is just, the images in this book are just adorable. Look at that. Every single page has something on it that I think I would absolutely love. So you're gonna see these images repurposed this book, I'm afraid, is going to be cut up. I got it for a dollar. This one, oh, for a dollar. And now you know what? I just realized. No wonder why I liked them. They were totally, uh, totally, they were <laughs> totally different rummage sales. This was last year. This was this year. And they're both by the same name brand. No wonder why I thought they were just as adorable as could be. S look at these images. Can you see that on an art journal page? I certainly can. Look at this. So, um, yeah, these things in these books, look at that, are going to be cut up and made into different types of art. Look at that. You know, it's just amazing, amazing. And so funny, I never noticed that they were by the same companies or it's called Gooseberry Patch. And these cookbooks are adorable. I can't wait to go ahead and work on those. And this might be something that I might uh, start tonight as I sit and watch some TV at Sunday night. I might just go ahead and get my scissors and go to town and do some fussy cutting. I think that would be great fun. Okay, one last thing. And this, again, I got at a rummage sale, and I've had this maybe for uh, a couple of years when I found it. It is a poster calendar, and if we look inside, these great big images on the calendars. Um, I'm thinking about um, mixed media um, backgrounds and art journaling, maybe not this one, but some of these images are totally amazing. <laughs> and you could 
cut this part off and use that in a different project. The paper is wonderful. Got them going upside down and all around here. But the images are what um, really, really got me excited. I think this is absolutely cute. Fussy cut that out and put that on an art journal page. Look at this. Up, everyone is upside up. <coughs> These birds. Look at how neat those are. Everybody loves a toaster. Cute. This frog in these um, in these uh, pots for planting. I, I can see so many projects. Look at all these pens. How neat is that? Somebody for cooking. I love to cook. So I think that this is going to be made into something really neat. Fussy cut those up. Pop those up. Make a great background. Love it. This little bird and this hand could be two separate projects. Who knows? And here's one with a bunch of ducks. And then this one is super cool. That bee. I love it. So, um, yes, these are going to be um, cut up also. So I will be doing some fussy cutting and get these items in my stash. And just now, this made me think of something. I'm, I, I don't know why. I'm all, it seems like I'm always thinking, always thinking, which is not a bad thing. But this piece of cardboard was just talking to me because I needed a piece um, for something that was given to me uh, for down at the cottage. And I'm going to guess that this is a 11 by 14. And I'm just guessing. But this was given to me for my birthday by my sister. And it says on here, Wisconsin Memories. And it is a beautiful, beautiful poem. And um, it is by Pete, M-A-I-K-E-N. And it was written on this watercolor paper. Um, and then this person, Darlene Flood, watercolored it. And this is going to go down at the cottage. But I needed a frame. So I got a frame at the... Uh, uh, thrift store that fit that and I was just looking at this piece of cardboard and I was thinking it seemed like it was the right size <laughs> and it is so now my piece of art has just been framed love it love it so keep your eyes peeled at those rummage sales look for those cookbooks with the wonderful illustrations. Look for those books that have just the right size that you could see art journal um, art journal possibility for. So get those things out and um, get crafting. Keep creating. I will not see you on Saturday this week. Um, I'm only going to be doing um, one video, and that's going to be on Thursdays. So next Thursday, I will be back, and we will have a project. We will be doing something amazing, I am sure. Have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks now. Bye.